Hello. In the previous lesson, we learned what a fraction is, what a fraction or fractional numbers. Today in the lesson, we will learn how to write these fractions, which we see in our drawings. First problem. We are given a square, and in this square, a part of the square is shaded. And we need to write down what part of the square is shaded. To do this, we will use fractional numbers. Let's remember that fractional numbers have the following form. A divided by B, we've talked about the fact that fractional numbers contain a fractional line, a number above the fraction line, and a number below the fraction line. In order to write the fraction, we must use this notation. Then, in our case, we draw the fraction line and write the fraction. But first, we're going to remember what number we should write below the fraction line and what number we should write above the fraction line, under the fractional line. We have to write a number that represents the number of all the parts. In our example, our square is divided into four equal parts. The total number of parts is 1, 2, 3, 4. So I write the number 4 under the fraction line. And above the fractional line, I have to write down the number of parts that are shaded in our figure. And that's one part. So above the fractional line, I'm going to write the number 1. You can write down this fractional number by first making another notation. Let's write it down in a different way. We can see that we have one part in four parts. We've got is shaded. So I'm going to write it down as a fractional number, one part in four. The result of that is a fractional number of one, one fourth. Second example. In this case, we see three parts which are shaded of how many parts? Let's count all the parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts. If we write it down first like this, it's easier to write down the fraction. And I'm going to write down three of eight parts. It turns out that three of the eighths are shaded. Notice that in the first and second example, we see the same parts. In this rectangle, we see the same parts. If the parts are not the same, then first we need to make all the parts equal before we can write the fraction. This is the kind of problem we're going to face in the third example. Third example, we need to write down a fraction which represents the shaded part. But notice that these parts are not equal to each other. This part here is different from this part. So first, in order to write the fraction correctly, we need to get equal parts. What am I going to do? We see that one fourth of our square is divided into four more equal parts. Into four more equal parts. So I'm going to first divide all the other parts into equal parts, and only then will I write down the fractional number. Now I have the same parts into which I divided our square. Let's count the number of these parts. 
The total number of these parts is 16. And two of the 16 parts are shaded. Then I can write the fraction. On the fraction line, I write the number of all the parts. That's 16. And above the fraction line, I'll write the number of parts that are shaded. That's 2. The result is a fraction of 2 sixteenths. In the next lesson, we will continue to solve problems with fractional numbers. For today, our lesson has come to an end. Goodbye. See you again.